Hello, family of God. This is Vicki and Chuck. Welcome to TLC. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you for joining us again today, or thank you for coming. If this is your first time here, we welcome you to this little corner of Father's Vineyard. We are delighted to have you guys with us in this time, whether it's morning, noon, night, whenever. We're just glad you're here. And we pray for you daily. And we pray that the things that uh, you hear through this channel, through this ministry, truly bless your hearts and have an impact in your life. That's always our hope. From the beautiful music that you hear playing right now that Chuck wrote in his uh, performing to the messages that Father gives. It's our heart's desire that we would be a blessing in each one of your lives. Father, we thank you so much for the things you're doing. Thank you for everybody who's here. Thank you for the things you've planned for us that we don't even know about. Thank you for calling us to be part of your body, for creating us and equipping us and drawing us to you each day. Thank you for all of the ones who have come with all of the cares of their hearts. As we spend this time with you, God, we ask you to bless us to remember that we are invited to lay those things down at your feet and to truly just bask in the presence of our Creator. You are good. Your mercy endures forever. There is nobody like you anywhere. Thank you, Father. Guys, I feel like the Lord wants me just to encourage you. You know, we get beaten up so much by this world in so many different ways. But God wants us to remember we're not of this world. We belong to Him. He's created us for Himself. Isn't that awesome? So all of those things that we bring before Him, all those things we have to deal with every day, he wants us to remember that because we belong to him and because he's put us where he's put us, when he's put us here, there is purpose and there is a Father in heaven who uses all of those things, not just for our good if we love him, but for his glory. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your goodness and your wisdom. Thank you, Father for life and hope. Thank you for restoration. You guys, I, I feel like there are a lot of us in the body of Christ who are struggling with broken relationships that God wants to heal. Ours is to stay humble and draw close to Him for His direction. He is the only one that can work in the hearts of the people we love and in our own hearts because he's the only one who knows our own hearts and he knows how to work in us in ways we can't figure out. But he sees us, he's known us from since before we were even born. He created us, he put us together piece by piece. And he knows how to fix the parts that are broken and the parts that are struggling. So we praise him. We praise him for his goodness and his mercy, for his wisdom, oh, for the wisdom of God in our foolishness. 
We can mess things up, but God is good and he knows how to fix those things. We just stay humble. I'm reminded of when Messiah said, take no thought for tomorrow. Tomorrow has enough problems. There's enough stuff going on. There's enough evil in tomorrow. There's enough evil in today. We don't need to worry about what tomorrow is going to bring. We just give all of our tomorrows to our Father. And we walk with him daily, line upon line, precept upon precept. Thank you, Father. In Philippians it says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again I will say rejoice. So you guys, whatever you're going through, trust him. Oh, I better see where we are in this. Father, thank you for every single thing you're doing. You are worthy of our praise. You're worthy of our love, God. And we bless the name of the Most High, Almighty Creator. There is none like you. There is no other. Thank you, God. Thank you for the restoration of hope. Thank you for the relationships you're mending. Thank you for the healings you're doing in people's spirits and their hearts and minds and their bodies. Thank you that just even as Messiah said, for the joy that's set before us, we will endure what we have to endure, knowing that you are with us. providing the strength we need. Thank you, God. We bless your name in the name of our Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ. The Word of God, the Word made flesh, the one who is faithful and true. Amen. Let's listen to a song, you guys. Thank you. 